you guys welcome back to my channel um i'm headed to work it's probably every bit of 6 30 maybe um so i'm coming to you guys because i wanted to talk to you guys about something with a lot of stuff and um i finally figured out this camera so well, this phone, so I decided to start back with my car uh, rants and car talks and ride talks or whatever you want to call it. So, <clears throat> I went to the doctor uh, two days ago, maybe, um, and I decided that it's no reason to just put my life on hold. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like everything. I find excuses to put my life on hold. If that makes sense. Hopefully this whole video gonna make sense. Because when I thought about it, I'm like, you're right. So, for one, I was sitting in the doctor's office and I was asking myself, like, why do I force myself to do things for other people or I make sure other people is straight but then when it comes to myself it's always oh that can wait um you don't have to do that right now uh you gonna stop um or like it's a, it's I try to do everything for everybody I would spend my last dollar on somebody else to make sure they're straight but then when it comes to me doing things for myself, I always say, oh, you don't need that. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't worry about that. You'll get it one day, blah, blah, blah. So I was sitting in the doctor's office and I'm like, why do I do it? Like, <laughs> and the only thing that I feel like I don't neglect is my mental. That's the only thing I don't neglect. Like, I make sure my mental is straight. Because if I don't, I'm, I'm easy to slip into depression. And you guys know I talk about depression a lot. Because uh, when I was 16, I was diagnosed with depression. And uh, <clears throat> I tried to, like, uh, every time I go to the doctor, I try to not be depressed or them telling me I'm depressed because they, they quick to throw you on medicine and that medicine you guys, that medicine is not good for nobody um because for one it, it, it norms you like you don't feel anything and you sleep your life away and I don't want to do that so I try to find things to keep me busy but sometimes me staying busy is not good because it, it's just not good because I really stopped taking time out for myself. But anyways, the reason why, I, the back to the reason why I'm, I'm recording this video is because you have to do things for yourself. And I know I'm, I'm if you look it up in a textbook definition, I'm the giver or I'm the people pleaser or something like that. Even though I try to not be, it's hard for me not to be there. And I have to find ways for me not to be a people pleaser. I did put out a video, I think, on that once upon a time. But it's hard for me not to be a people pleaser. I don't try everything. Like, I don't try saying no, which I do say no a lot now. But then I still turn around and do it. So it's like, girl, what you say no for if you just going to do it? Or I try to argue that person down like why you just can't save your money and do what you need to do with your money instead of doing other things with it. But then I turn around and give that person the money, which is crazy to me. But I, I was just saying like, I was just sitting there thinking in the doctor, I was like, I, I need to stop doing it. If you guys don't know, um, July the 28th, I graduated from with a bachelor's degree. And my manager asked me, okay, now what? And I was like, I'm going to get my license, but I don't want to get my license in Mississippi. So, and I wanted to get it in another state. And she 
said what's stopping you and I'm like a lot which is true but most of that lot is me you get what I'm saying like it's nobody else but me even though I worry about my family with my parents basically it's just the fact that they grown they can take care of themselves uh, and I feel like it's time for me to go like you ever get that feeling like you've been here long enough there's nothing else you can accomplish here. So go. That's how I be feeling. Um, I don't know. I'm over it. Um, and it's like everything that I need is like in a whole nother state. Like I, I already made plans for myself in another state. I already came up with goals and stuff for myself in another state. Sorry, you guys, it get dark. I'm in the bushes trying to get to work. But it's just crazy how you can set up yourself to be fully financial stable, fully um, not really worried about anything. But then it's like you put everything on pause because of why. That's crazy to me. But I still do it, which is loony but um so from from today to december i'm gonna try to move to another state now i am going to like still record videos i'm gonna still record probably the whole move i'm gonna still record the journey to me moving to me settling into the state but the thing about it is, I'm not going to tell you guys where I'm going or none of that stuff until I get settled, if that makes sense. I really don't. I'm, I'm tired of telling people my plan and God laughing at me for one. And then, things just don't pan out like they're supposed to. And that is the worst thing ever because then you have to explain yourself why you haven't moved yet or what's taking so long or it should take this long just to move to a certain state and sometimes you get tired of explaining yourself so i'm like why explain myself when i really don't have to tell nobody my move in the first place and um i'm always a person who is big on secrets who is big on well not really secrets big on making moves by myself instead of trying to tell everybody what's going on with me but uh, that's just how I feel about it. Uh, these cars take forever. But I don't know. I need to stop doing stuff for other people and just start focusing on myself. And yeah, everything will go straight for me. And I'm more like an empath. Uh, uh, if that's the word, I think it's the word where... I feel other people's emotions. I feel when other people stressed. I feel, and that would kind of make me like, it sends my feelings out of whack. And I hate that. But that's just how it is. <laughs> like, I mean, nothing I can do about it. So, I have one more thing to tell you guys. But like I said, I really don't. I really don't know what's next for me. All I know, my next move needs to be me actually moving. Um, and I just don't know. I just don't know my steps are getting there, if that makes sense. I'm just staying prayed up, and when God says it's time, then I'm moving. Um, but now it's like I'm getting different signs of like different things. Like, okay, maybe this is a sign from God and I'm just not paying attention. So, yeah. But, um, I feel like I have this little medical emergency. So, it's like, get this handled and move. Because you stressing about certain things is not good. And, you guys, I stress a lot. That's not good, especially when you have, like, 
obviously the video topics that I looked over that I had like in my notebook and everywhere else. I don't bring topics. I, I'm scrapping majority of them. <laughs> like I'm getting rid of majority of them. And I don't think that's a good thing because I mean like I really want to put out two videos per week. But it's kind of hard to do when it's like it's certain things you don't want to talk about but it's certain things you want to talk about you just don't know how to go at them so it's like you kind of don't talk about it and it just sit there and sit there and sit there and by the time that you need to talk about it that time has passed so I do have like a lot of reaction videos that I can react to but it's like I never have the time then when I do get off work at like 3, it's like I still have to go home, wash clothes, do this, do that, run errands, pay bills. It's like, by that time, I still got to be in bed by 9.30 because I got to get right back up at 4 to be right back at work. So, I just don't see the time unless I like record a lot of videos on my days off. But, I don't know how that going to work. But, anyways. Let me, give me some ideas you guys think that I can, like some tips that I can use of uploading videos. Like, I'm, I'm trying to do like topics, like a topic per week, but then I feel like I still need multiple weeks to talk about one topic or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to come up with a plan. You guys put your plan in the description box I mean girl if you could put them in the um, comment section of course but yeah that's what I meant with that um, I don't know you guys I don't know I'm just working stacking my money dude when it's time to go I have enough financial means to go even though I did set up myself to go to the next state you sh I still want to have money where if I need to get a hotel before the house or the apartment is ready, then I have that financial means. Um, somebody told me to stay until YouTube start paying me. I'm not doing it because YouTube is not going to be my job outlet for nothing. Even if I do get millions and trillions of followers, YouTube will never be would never be my my financial means if that makes sense. But anyways I'm about to end this video because I'm about to be at work. Um when I get off work if I have enough time I will uh, make another video for you guys, come up with some more topics for you guys. Um where if I be at work, that's what I'm going to do. Cause I I think I'm going to be on the floor today to be honest with you. So I won't have that much time to like record videos for you guys. I did plan on recording like a video at work but mm, I don't really want to do that. But anyways I guess I'll talk to you guys when I get out or I'll talk to you guys the next time I'm in the car or whenever you see me again. So you guys stay safe, stay blessed. Um, and if you're getting in this, like this video, just know that you are more important than anybody else to you. Okay? But anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video.